guys. Thank you for joining us in this room. My name is Tanaj Nicole. And it's your girl Ashley. And today, guys, we are going to be talking about what we plan to do in 2020. Now, I don't want to call this a New Year's resolution thing. It's almost intentional that we did it towards the end of the month because New Year's resolutions tend to fizzle out after what, 20 days or so. Yeah, I'll say if that. Some yeah. people are lucky enough to make it to the second week. Yeah, so I would say that this is very much just how we are going to own 2020 because we have a lot of plans and we want you guys to be a part of them. Yep, and the first plan you can see is behind us. Yes. So pretty soon one of the videos that we're going to come out with is going to be our uh, video room tour. Yeah. What do they call that? The beauty room tour? Beauty room tour. Yeah, beauty yeah. room tour. We're going to be official because that's when you're official. It just, it feels good to sit in front of it. Yes. So it'll be a great thing to show you guys. It's like all of our stuff nicely displayed. Just nicely displayed. So we'll give you a little bit of shout out on that one for the next video. But this one we just wanted to go through our five little things that we have, mm -hmm. our goals for this year, and kind of share it with you. And then if you have any feedback, make sure you let us know in the comment section what are some of your goals. Absolutely. And um, you know, maybe we can learn from you too. I don't know. Uh, do you want to go first? Or do you go yeah. First? My biggest one, it's kind of crazy like how yeah. quickly things have rolled on with us. Yeah. I want to become a certified makeup artist, certified MUA. And this is because it's not that I don't necessarily not know what I'm doing. I just want to know more. Mm -hmm. And then I want a piece of paper that says I know what I'm doing. So <laughs> we are actually both enrolled into courses to be certified MUA. So this is really exciting. Really, really exciting. We'll take exciting. you guys along that journey too. Homework isn't always fun. But I think this kind of homework. Yeah, I think this kind of homework fun. might be fun. Yeah. yeah, it'll be something different. But um, I, I, I do appreciate you saying that because I, I like to know the why behind the what. Yes. So for me, it's like interesting to learn the foundation mm -hmm. of makeup and then like why certain things work. That's a really good one. I like that one. My first one is gonna go kind of in hand with YouTube a little bit because I've been slacking and I will I will admit that you know. <laughs> Girl Meal is a, is a three part uh, group. And so right now, I'm the only one that doesn't really know how to like film and edit things. Which, if you know me well, that kind of bugs me because I like to know the why behind the what. Uh huh. And I do enjoy learning as much as possible. But this one here is a guru at it now. And so is our producer, of course. So I am the last one left. <laughs> <laughs> last but not least. <laughs> and so I, I will be taking a little bit more time to kind of sit down and, and learn from yeah from Tanaj because other people you know they don't like the way that I learn apparently I click too many things <laughs> I mean clicking is a part of exploring but whatever um, so yeah that'll be something that I look forward to <laughs> they're laughing at me but that's okay I mean I'm just it's, it's all right I'm okay I think she's gonna do just fine She's gonna do just fine. But if there's ever a video that you're like, what happened there? <laughs> it's your girl. <laughs> it was me. It was you. Hit me up in the comment section. I'll be like, hey, my bad. There was an intro to this one because I forgot. <laughs> Mine is kind of YouTube related too, but it's like about life in the same way, but like kind of lightheartedly. Skincare. Ooh. I one. suck at it. I do, I'm not a good person for skincare. And you guys might look at my face now and go, but ah, you're fine, you don't need it. Right, you don't need it. When I was starting at nine years old is when I developed acne. And it was actually really, really bad acne. My pores are both, they're small, but they're deep. So it's very easy for things to get trapped in them. Mm -hmm. Especially when you're working out and you know playing around and as a kid, you know, literally just being outside. Mm -hmm. Just being human. <laughs> being human, right. Everything would get stuck in them. I had to use Ooh. that like old school Neutrogena bar. It was orange and it stunk. Oh, yeah. And it was basically like medicine for your face. I was one of the first kids to be like, I need proactive. Like it was bad. And it was, oh. yeah, it was really, really bad. I was like that sad kid on proactive who goes like, now my life has changed. I never got, well, I did get it eventually. <laughs> I did get wow. pregnant eventually. But yeah, no, I had really, really tough time with skin growing up. So. When it finally calmed down and I felt like I kind of had a control over it, mm -hmm. I didn't want to touch it. And That's now true. that I'm getting, you know, up there in age, and I'm like, oh, I should probably care. Yeah, we should all have. Yeah. It. Regardless of what kind of skin type you have, and you regardless should have of what age you routine. have, you should. Feedback that I've heard from women that are a little bit older is that one of their biggest 
takeaways that they wish they would have told themselves earlier to take care of this, their skin. Yeah, because once it kind of goes, it's hard to bring it, it goes, back. Goes, man. You know, you don't usually you lose it. Type of yes. Thing. So, you know, our face just stops producing. I just want to like longer. intentionally try and do it because right, right now I really phone it in, and I do it when I just feel like my face should be clean. So. <laughs> That's fair. Let us know yes. if you're the same way or if yes. you already got your stuff together. Give us some feedback, give us some tips, what products mm -hmm. to use. I'm gonna look out for that. My next one kind of goes on the same track with yours a little bit. Mm -hmm. Mine's just more like, I think, general um, in terms of just improving my self care this year. Mm -hmm. That's probably my number one goal at the moment. Just because sometimes it's life just gets ahead of you and you know, you just end up focusing so much on other things like your job and I just want to make sure that I'm I'm okay first before I end up taking on different mountains of responsibilities and pressures from the world. So what I mean by that is like just making sure that I, you know, I do like some time to my skincare or like, you know, going back to doing my hair again like I used to. Just investing in more products that it makes your routine simpler. I've noticed mm -hmm. that if you sit down and you look at like, okay, well, why, why don't I do my hair? Or like, why don't I do my nails? And a lot of times there's certain things that happen that you're just like, oh, well. This takes too much time. It's it takes too much time. time. Yeah, just making sure that I'm, I'm okay personally, uh, mentally, physically, things like that. Take, taking a moment just to like have peace and quiet. Yes. And yes. being okay with just doing nothing for a day. Well. <laughs> Well, I mean, and that's actually, the feedback you want to get. Well, well, anyways. <laughs> well, because I'm kind of on the same wavelength as you are, but it's, I'm, I want to take better care of myself, but very much more physically. I used to be a competition cheerleader. So mm -hmm. if you guys watch Bring It On, I'm telling you the first one was a documentary. That was not a movie. I don't, that was real life for me. All those characters, that's how hilarious. intense it is, how it's your whole life. That I'm telling you. It, it's real and that was accurate. It's very accurate. And so I kind of miss putting my body to the limit like that because trust me, oh, there are times yeah. where like I was so tired I would collapse. Did you know you could get like strained muscles in your kneecaps? Like that's how intense we used to train. I don't want to go back to that extreme, but I do miss my body being in tip top shape. So I'm not necessarily completely out of shape right now, but yeah. I, I do like having the ability to just you know sprint a mile and be okay and stuff like that so are you getting ready for someone to chase you? i know <laughs> safety first right but i know that's kind of cliche because so everyone goes like that health kick and i, I just want to take care but yep i yeah. i really do want to this is kind of part of mine i mean i don't want to like step on your shoes or anything but mine was diet and exercise so it kind of oh. goes hand yeah, in hand. Go hand i was hand. not a cheerleader <laughs> Um, <laughs> shocker, right? I know. I uh, was not a cheerleader, was not very athletic growing up, but one thing that I really enjoy doing, which um, she knows about, is I love just uh, walking or running or jogging, and I particularly like going to like trails, and mm -hmm. I like going up mountains. We have some here in Georgia that I really love, so I like being outdoors. Yeah, when that's I work something out. she's conditioning me to enjoy as well, because that is not it's my so bag. It's so nice. I feel like it just... It's not my bag. I don't know, being inside of a gym, I'm I'm aware that I'm spending time in oh, the gym. And if I'm aware, then I just end up like being like, okay, 10 minutes more. All right, 10 minutes more. Okay, oh, thank it. God, I can get off. Okay. Diet is really important. Uh, because me and Tanad are just so busy, because we have full-time jobs, we film, we're now we're taking courses, and we're yeah. doing other things on top yeah. of that. Yes. So it is important that some way, somehow, you meal prep. Understanding your obstacles mm -hmm. to why you're not meeting your goal mm -hmm. is really important. And I know one of mine is just time. Like, throughout the week, I really, I just don't have time. All right, so what's your next one? I would say self-branding. Oh, so, okay. I've always been really good at a lot of things, right? There's a lot of different random things that so I didn't. Humble. Give me a second. I was going to pull it back, so I was. So I've been I've been good at a lot of different things, but I personally didn't feel that I was good enough to brand myself with those tasks. Oh, so, okay. like, I enjoy doing nail art and I enjoy painting. Everyone always pushed me. You should be doing a YouTube channel about that. You should have your own art show. You should have all these other things. And I just never felt like people wanted to see what I could produce. So 
kind of, it's almost like believing in yourself on top of that. Like, mm -hmm. like believing in yourself and believing in your own brand that, yes, I am capable of doing this. Yes, I am worthy of getting paid for the skill. That type of thing. I've been really working. Wow, that's big. Because I do enjoy my current job, because that feels a, fulfills a different side of me. I have a very serious job. So that fulfills a different side of me. But my creative side is always starving. Taking this certified makeup artist course and looking into you know us building a brand together it's it's a whole thing that's making me super excited <laughs> to just work oh, you know like how they say you do what you love you never work a day in your life, in your life. Yeah. i'm trying to get to that point and so self-branding will definitely help me get there this year ah, that was really deep man i feel like hopefully that hits a lot of people thank you that was a good one and saying that my next one is probably the one that scares me the most and I'm playing with my hands here well, before I say it because I'm sweating already. One of the things that I decided this year to do is I had to sit myself down and I said, okay. Sit yourself down. You yeah. Sit yourself down. Okay. Yeah, I sat myself down and was okay. like, all right. <laughs> if it scares you, do it. Yes. And so, I don't mean... That's like that year of yes thing. Yeah, like it's not like dangerous though. Like don't get it twisted. I'm not about to like <laughs> jump off a bridge because it scares me. <laughs> yes. Uh uh, we ain't doing all that. It's more so like going back to school and things of that nature. Like things that really do petrify you, but you know that you should do it mm -hmm. because it'll make you a better person or it'll make your skills better. Literally, I'll be sitting there and be like, no, I don't want to do that. And then I'll be like, oh, now I have to do it. And it's been really hard. But the feeling of overcoming whatever it is that I was scared about is so much better than I would have imagined than the feeling mm -hmm. of being scared, if that makes sense. Like so letting go is my last one. And it kind of goes back into the self-branding thing. I have always overthought, overanalyzed, you know, figured out all the particular ways things could go wrong pessimistically thinking that way and yeah. that's kind of been my way of approaching life you know figure out the worst case scenario think that piece out and then go with it going okay if the worst thing happens this is how Same. I'll handle it you yeah. don't necessarily want to lose that type of logic that I have but also just embracing the opportunity instead of looking at the worst case scenario of that opportunity I, I've never been able to just freely embrace anything that I'm spearheading. Like, if someone gives something an opportunity to me, great, that's wonderful, I'm grateful for it. But if it's me forging my own way through something, wow. no, I, I never could just think my way through something positively. So, letting go, just, just embracing every opportunity that comes to me and letting life live. In saying that though, I will say, next one you really have to let go because my next thing is traveling this yes. year is a huge one like you know i ain't gonna live forever y'all nobody live forever but Correct. one thing i do want to do is travel as much as i can see as much as i can and mm -hmm. um be able to document what i'm seeing sometimes i'll go places and i'll be like oh my god it's so beautiful and you know sometimes i like my little crappy phone sometimes it don't really work <laughs> uh to take the best pictures so i'm just left with memories and that's fine but there are times where i feel like man if i really got a good shot of that like i could have yes put it somewhere in my house and really remembered it and things like that so being able to go places and uh document it and not even like fancy places like i'm not talking about like going to europe or you know somewhere in asia and just going different places here within the state of georgia and mm -hmm. visiting things that i've never seen doing some touristy things that i've never really thought about doing right but maybe i should and of course bringing her with me even if she doesn't want to come but she's still coming so it's whatever i often go places i don't want to with you but that's a good thing you pulled me out that box so. and you pulled me out of mine so. yeah <laughs> Y'all be seeing a lot of that crazy this year. Yes. That'll be one of our episodes. So that was our both of our top five things that mm -hmm. we really want to do to own 2020. Yep. And we hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, just make sure you give it a thumbs up like always. If you have not subscribed to our channel, we do urge you to do so and join the Romeo family. Mm -hmm. Like always, hit that notification bell, y'all. We're gonna be coming more videos. And I don't want you to miss out, so make sure you hit that button, please. 
Also, go to our social media platforms. Instagram is our favorite, so that's at Rumel, R-U-M-O-R-M-E-A-L. We also have our lookbook, guys. That link is in the description below. It's really cool to see us pull things together like that. So, yes, please check out our lookbook. And, um, like I said, we have Facebook, Twitter, the whole nine. So, check us out. Yeah. So, like always, we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.